Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Former NHGOP Chair, RNC Committee Man, Dupree endorses Democrat Biden over Trump for president. Conquered businessman, longtime party activist, was a close friend advisor to Senator John McCain. Lifelong New Hampshire Republican leader Steve Dupree endorsed Democrat Joe Biden for president Sunday, writing in a Facebook post that Biden has the values necessary to unite the country. Dupree, a long time friend and advisor to the late Senator John McCain, joined Cindy McCain and other moderate Republicans in New Hampshire and elsewhere in endorsing the Democrat nominee, writing that having a president who seeks to build unity rather than division and works to uphold the values that unite us is what we need in our president in these challenging times. For me, Vice President Biden is that candidate. Dupree, a prominent Concord business owner, served as the state's GOP's Republican National Committee man for two to four year terms in the 1990s and two more four year terms in recent years. He also was NH GOP chair for four year term year terms in the nineteen nineties and early two thousands. Dupree was a close, confident and personal friend to McCain in the late Senator's victorious campaigns in two thousand and two thousand and eight New Hampshire first in the nation presidential primaries. When McCain was the Republican presidential nominee in 2008, Tra Dupree traveled with him throughout the country and was at his side when he lost the general election to Barack Obama. The two remained close friends until McCain's death in 2018, when Trump frequently criticized McCain during the 2016 presidential campaign and later during Trump's first term in office, Dupree came to McCain's defense. When Trump in early 2019 slammed McCain months after his death, Dupree wrote, President Trump isn't worth to carry even John McCain's Navy cap. No measure he, he the patriot or public servant that John McCain was ever. But during the 2016 Republican National Convention, Dupree, in his RNC role, worked on Trump's behalf to fend off proposed convention rule changes by Trump enemies who tried to prevent him from securing the nomination. Members of the Republican State Committee, which is controlled by Trump supporters, ousted Dupree from his RNC role in January and replaced him with strong Trump supporter Chris Ager. Dupree resigned immediately to help Ager quickly transition into the RNC post. In his Facebook post, Dupree wrote that he agreed with an editorial last week in the New Hampshire Union Leader, in which the conventive newspaper endorsed Biden. It was reportedly the first Democrat endorsed by the newspaper in a hundred years. For me, this election is about more than issue and policy debates. 
to be wrote. It is about how the president leads, how we speak to all of us, and whether he acts in a way that helps bring this sprinted argumentative and boutist nation together. Vice President Biden has a long history of appealing to what unites us rather than what separates us. We need that kind of leadership now. You can read Dupree's full Facebook post on John DeStacio's tweet and here's a look at it below. And here is what Steve Dupree wrote. And there you go on that. And we will put it up on the Riley King Network Facebook page after this broadcast. Dupree has no, has not limited his support for Democrat to Biden in the election. Senator Gene Shaheen's campaign pointed out that Dupree has endorsed Shaheen and campaigned with her in Concord on Sunday. But in his Facebook post on Biden, Dupree also wrote, like the union leader, I also hope we keep a slim Republican majority in the Senate, where senators like Mitt Romney and Susan Collins will play a device role in shaping the agenda. And that does it for this evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. Thank you for watching this evening news report and have a great rest of your evening. See you back here tomorrow with more news reports. Good night and goodbye, everyone.